My mission was to make Oak Glen Petting Zoo a destination. What they needed was a star animal. The plan? To create a hero pig by staging a viral video in which he rescues a baby goat from drowning. Oh, okay. So I think if you had a video like that, people would come from places as foreign as Japan and even more foreign like China just to see your hero pick. That would be great. The first step was picking our animals. Vince would be our hero pig and Gangster the goat would be our victim. The zoo had a large trout pond, so this would be the setting for our rescue. But when I brought Vince near the water, I realized he was an incredible coward. Okay, 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 okay. So we hired some animal handlers to bring in a professional movie pig that looked identical to Vince. The question now was, how do we get a pig to rescue a goat on camera? Answer, you can't. So I decided to have two scuba divers secretly submerged beneath the animals, guiding the pig towards the goat to make it look like a real rescue. During the first couple attempts, the pig kept slipping out of the diver's hands. So we decided to build an underwater track out of PVC to guide the pig like a bowling ball going down a bumper lane. This worked a lot better, and I was hopeful it would fool the internet audience into believing this video was real. But as the amount of people involved began to grow, including animal trainers, stuntmen, and humane society reps, I started to get worried. After all, word couldn't get out that this was fake, or it would be a disastrous scandal for Oak Glen. So I asked everyone on set to sign non-disclosure agreements, stating that they swore not to tell anyone the rescue was fake, or else they would face the death penalty. Even though my lawyer said the death penalty clause was not enforceable, I still wanted to leave it in there so people knew how serious I was. And after several failed attempts, we finally got the rescue on tape. <laughs> 